Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV, Dish Channel 9415, Direct TV 348, Sling, Roku, and Apple TV. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your more chaos and anarchy and vandalism and violence reigns, the better it is for the very clear choice on who's best on public safety. Caravan of vehicles flying Trump flags as they pulled into the city's downtown. That the more chaos and anarchy and vandalism and violence reigns, the better it is that the more chaos and anarchy and vandalism and violence reigns, the better it is. There's your question. Are you safer now than you were four years ago? Answer, no. Absolutely no. We're not safer. We're not safer. We're not healthier. We're not more uh, economically uh, 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 predisposed. Every, uh, the food banks are operating on a scale that this country hasn't seen since, like, never. Uh, this is unbelievable. So um, last night we were treated to that cop sucker bill barr yeah cop sucker that's what he is uh making excuses for the the systemic racism that is obviously present inside of police forces and sheriff's departments and ice and border patrol i mean we we have gone over this there are so many of his own doj documents there are so many of this administration's own dhs documents that document the infiltration of the police forces, of the sheriff's departments, of the ICE uh, and Border Patrol uh, units with white supremacists and secret societies and guys with freaking Nazi tattoos. And Bill Barr is covering for them and for the president, giving them free reign to do as much violence as they want to in this country it, it was it was bizarre yesterday okay um the question started with the president threatening bill barr you know saying bill barr i'm not even going to play it because you've heard it bill barr could go down as uh one of the greatest attorney generals in the history of the united states or just be another guy this was Donald Trump signaling to Bill Barr that he wanted Bill Barr to lie for him, to cover for him, to, uh, you know, uh, be a cop sucker for him and to ignore the systemic racism that is present in our justice system. Bill Barr denied yesterday. I, this, he said, well, I don't feel any pressure. I don't feel any pressure. <laughs> that, that was his answer. But he was asked about this crazy Facebook, uh, you know, garbage troll thing to do uh, having to do with thugs on a plane he couldn't explain it he didn't know what the president was talking about uh but he said you know it's real it's re I, I mean it was just it's so bizarre in an interview this week the president claimed that he heard about a plane in his words loaded with thugs wearing dark u uniforms from a certain city that was headed to the republican national convention here in washington in his words to do big damage he didn't offer any specifics. He later the next day changed the story. The plane wasn't coming to Washington, was leaving Washington. Have you asked the FBI to investigate this? I don't, I don't have to ask the FBI because we received numerous reports of individuals coming from Portland, Washington, Seattle, and several other cities to come into Washington for the specific purpose of causing a riot. Were they wearing black uniforms and, uh, uh -huh. and were they loaded, if you will? There were many on planes. We've received multiple reports of, on this topic. And so what the president was talking about was information that you provided the president? I don't, I, 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 I don't know. Oh, what happened? Oh, man. Is this going to be all day? I don't know. There is no evidence for thugs on a plane. We've also seen, you know, the president talk recently in the last few days about... Uh, people clad in black tr trying to fly into Kenosha and other localities to carry out violence. And I was stunned to see the attorney general 
sort of try to hang some measure of truth to what the president seemed to be passing on, which was a, a conspiracy theory that has been living on Facebook. I, I don't know that uh, even inside the Justice Department or the FBI, people have the evidence to back this up. The attorney general uh, sort of was trying to grasp at straws to try to make that true. And, and that's part of the problem, Wolf, with the attorney general and why he's perceived in the way he is. He's very defensive when people accuse him uh, of trying to defend the president being there uh, simply for, for the sake of the president. And it's, it's, it's incidents like what we just saw today that make people make that accusation. And, and I think that's one, one of the problems for this attorney general. It is one of the problems for this attorney general. This attorney general lies a lot, even for a lawyer. He lies a lot. He actually lies a lot for anybody. He lies a lot. And so does Donald Trump lie a lot. And so does Mike Pence lie a lot. And we're, you know, sir, lie a lot. I am just so sick of it. You know, I, I picture there are internet scam artists who are like, hey, hey, bar. Hey, Trump, you stole our gig. You know, we're, the, we're supposed to be looking for the dupes. We're so, you know, I'm sure there's televangelists that say, oh, my God, uh, they've cornered the market on uh, bullcrap. Uh, I thought that was our arena. I thought that's what we operated for. I mean, this is just so bizarre. Just so bizarre. You know, maybe when we swear in, uh, you know, the, I've said this for how many years now? When I say it, you'll go, you know what, Randy did. You, you said this. I want all public officials all public officials to take an oath to tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help them god when they are using their official office to speak to the american people if every single public servant every congressman every senator every president vice president attorney general dhs secretary and on and on would be sworn to tell the truth not in their normal lives. They can lie to their wives for all I care. They can lie to their kids. You know, they can, they can lie to their friends. They can, uh, you know, misrepresent, uh, you know, uh, whether or not uh, they're buying this vacation home. I don't, I don't care. But if they're using their official office to discuss, speak to, or explain anything to the American people, they must be under oath. You know how many of our problems would whew, be solved? Do you have any idea? Bill Barr sat there and lied through this entire, entire interview. He said there is no systemic racism. There aren't two systems of justice. No. You know, if you really want to parse it, there are more than two systems of justice in this country. You got your system for the rich, like Donald Trump, who sues everybody into submission because they can't afford to answer all these lawsuits that he files against uh, people that just want to get paid. You've got the system for the rich. You've got the system for uh, white guys. And you got a system for everybody else. And we all know it. We all freaking know it. Black people are stopped all the time for things white people are never, ever even looked at for. It happens all the time. Black men are being shot unarmed in some places like California. This is, this is one of the most notorious places. Five times more often than white people, unarmed black people. And Bill Barr is saying that's not true. It isn't happening. And there is no systemic racism in our system. Meanwhile, I got a video that is so painful to watch. There's a man who is dead now who, his name is Daniel Prude. Daniel Prude had some sort of uh, mental break, okay? A mental break because he had lost a brother, then he had lost his mother, then he had lost another brother. And so he went to Rochester, New York to be closer to the one brother he had left. He, he is definite, his own brother called the police for help because his brother had a break with reality and was running through the streets, stark raving nude, naked. Which makes it easy to know he's unarmed. He's dead. The police literally hooded him, put a hood over his head, and suffocated him.